Uh, I'm sorry you didn't get me here earlier. The whole neighborhood is falling apart these days. Within the first 15 minutes, I started tearing up, and by the end, I was blubbering like a <laughs> baby. Aww. You did a beautiful job. Thank you. What was it about this film, this character, that resonated with you as an actress? Well, I had the reaction like you. You were like, in, in the second page, when I was reading, I started crying. It's just, we all go through those moments. We all have moments of grief when we feel we can't go on. We all need somebody's love and help once in a while to just kind of heal something or advance or get over um, something in life. Otto Anderson is ready to end it all after the loss of his wife. But when a lively family moves in next door, his charming neighbor, played by Mariana Trevino, challenges him to view the world differently which was, of course, magnificent for me to right. watch Tom Hanks right here, up close <laughs> and personal, watch his sensibility, how he works from a, such a truthful place. I brought you some food. Okay. okay, bye. Are you always this unfriendly? I am not unfriendly. Okay, you're not. Every word you say is like a warm cuddle. The story of Otto's life is told through flashbacks, with Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson's son Truman playing the younger version of his character. This film is all about human connection, right? Finding a family in the most unexpected of places. Yeah. But you were working on set with his real-life family. Yes. How did that shape the <laughs> dynamic? Well, it was great because it added to the warmth. I mean, Rita Wilson, who's absolutely amazing and wonderful, she was great to have around. She's a producer in the film, and, and Truman is wonderful as well. And I think it added because the, the movie is about family. Too. Break, break, break. The car is stopped. I almost hit the car. Mr. Ryan's right. a hybrid. Trevino says she modeled her character off her own sister and mother and could connect to the original book's version of Marisol on a deeper level. I Iranian women tend to be very, you know, strong-willed mothers. And in Mexico, also, we have that prototype, you know, very strong woman, and the mother stays here, and we go there, and she leads, you know, <laughs> the family around. So it was great to make that, uh, that br to bridge that out and to showcase that, because um, we're, we're very proud and I love moms. I think women deserve a beautiful place and, and, and to honor them constantly because it's such a brave thing to give birth. In Spanish they say dar a luz, which means to give light. That is the, 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 the word, the expression, to give birth. And it's beautiful because this is what the family does without them.